what's up guys welcome back to hmht my name is ben your host of course and today we finally have another mac os monterey 12 update and the beta that we're talking about today as you can see is mac os 12 beta 3. now at the time i'm actually recording this video this is only available to developer beta testers but by the time you see this video it could be out to public beta testers as well now if we go to the more information tab here you can see the update size that came in for me it came in at exactly 2.72 gigs and i was actually updating from mac os 12 beta 2 so if you're coming from any other version you could get a slightly larger update size now as you can see just to estimate you can see the update time for me that it took about seven minutes and it was quite quick but obviously this is not all that apple released you can see some updates that were released today so we have mac os monterey beta 3 this is the video for that of course and also we have ios 15 beta 3 as well as ipad os 15 beta 3 we have watch os 8 beta 3 i'll be doing a video on this shortly and also the last one that we have is tvos 15 beta 3 and if you're not aware apple also released metal developer tools for windows 2.0 beta so you can always check that out if you use windows and if you again are not aware apple released like release candidate versions of mac os big Sur, ios 14.7 ipad os 14.7 so all these RC versions that you're seeing came out yesterday. You can see they came out on July 13th. So if you are waiting for any of these release candidate versions, then they could possibly come out by the end of this week. And then if not next week, they should be coming out to the public. So those are all the updates that were released today and yesterday. And now let's go to look at the software changes that came with this update. If we go to the about this map section, let me just bring this over here and we go to the overview you can see the new build number that we have 21A5284E so now the build number that we have has an E at the end and before that we had an H so in simple terms we took like three steps three steps in the positive direction and if we go to the uh, storage section here just to see how much this is taking so it put up on my secondary monitor and as you can see storage or system storage also known as mac os is taking up 16.55 gigs now that's about it when it comes to the software changes now let's talk about the new features and changes that came with this update the first one that i want to show you has to do with the airplay receiver when you go to sharing so if you have a supported mac that has um allows you to airplay to your airplay to enabled mac i believe for the macbook pro is 2018 and newer and this is 2016 so it doesn't qualify but you can now select airplay receiver and enable that on your mac which is something that's good and also another thing that's changed with this update is that it fixes an issue when it comes to the calendar when you want to pin or add a facetime video to your calendar so now you can do that and it won't crash unlike what was there before so that has been resolved you can do that either through the widgets or you can do that you know by just going to the application and doing it through the calendar app so that issue has been resolved and also another thing that was updated has to do with some headers so those were updated with this mac os beta 3 and also when it comes to focus you can see that when we select a different focus like for example the sleeping focus the color of the icon is no longer like generally blue or purple you can see that it takes color of the uh, focus icon so that is that has been updated across all devices including the apple watch and ios and also this update if you have like some pdfs and when you open those pdf you are finding that the headers or the front text isn't like aligned properly this update fixes that issue and also this update fixes connection issues when it comes to icloud relay so if you're having those issues on beta 2 you can always check those out and also if you actually have some tabs that you pinned and you are finding out that the tabs that you have pinned in safari were actually disappearing so that has been fixed you can see some of my tabs like the travel tab that i have here 
or or the other aka tab that i have here you can see you know what the tabs that i i had open under aka and you can see when i open the tab they load up as normal you can see if i go to my facebook creator studio it loads up as it is and that's where i was so that is something that's good and that has been fixed with this update and also another thing that is fixed with this update has to do with share play it's more stable and won't just crash out of nowhere unlike what was there before so those are some of the fixes that came with this update as well as three just just three new features and changes i gotta say that with this mac os monterey 12 beta 3 there's more known issues than there is new features so it's actually a good thing because this shows that you are actually using this feedback assistant app with regards to some of the issues that you are facing so let me just take you through some of the major or most common uh, bugs that people are experiencing so the first one has to do with maps so when you open up maps for the first time and it loads like this you might see that some rivers the scale of some rivers might be way way bigger than what it actually is on the ground as well as the scale of some um, bridges so that is something to keep note of and also some users are reporting that when it comes to focus that was on beta 2 they are unable to switch from this do not disturb mode that is the only focus mode that you can select so that is a non issue issue and also when it comes to language i believe it's in system preferences where you go to uh, language and regions here there is a known issue where it might display unlocalized text if you select some languages so that is also another known issue and you if you have a mark that allows you to restart from recovery you might not be able to do that on this beta or on beta 2 since a lot of people are facing that issue and if you use siri to activate special audio then sometimes you might not actually be able to do that as you can see here before i could pull up siri also on the secondary monitor but at this time i have to like pull my notifications like this and then that's when siri will be able to show up so let me just cancel siri but if you click siri by by itself here you can see that it doesn't show up but if you pull up notification then it show up it shows up rather so if i pull up my notifications and then press siri it will show up so that is also another thing that you can take note of there's just a few stability things that need to be addressed so other than that this is how this update is for me you can see that it's um it's quite interesting because it has more known issues and bugs that are reported and it's a good thing because thank you so much because more people are reporting their experiences and issues that they come across thank you so much for taking part and reporting what you are uh, facing and just to give you a brief overview when it comes to mac os monterey beta 3 this update has actually uh Two, three new features it also has 28 known issues and it has an amazing 32 new resolved issues and three deprecations so just know that the issues that were reported are slightly more and less new features it's good it's a good thing that apple is focused more on stability when it comes to this update and i believe by the time this update comes out it will be even more stable than what we uh, seeing here now other than that guys this is how this update came in for me when it comes to uh, my 2016 15 inch macbook pro uh, if you're going to be updating then let me know in the comment section below other than that if you have something that i missed then please uh, do also let me know in the comment section below and stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace